from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. And happy Tuesday morning, Penn State. I'm student meteorologist Kevin Appleby with a look at that Tuesday morning forecast. As you take a look at the live cams across Pennsylvania, you can see a different picture across uh, multiple areas of the state. You can see here in State College, we've got a lot of water droplets on our screen as we have a thunderstorm moving through right now. Pittsburgh, mainly cloudy skies. You saw some rain earlier. Here in Philadelphia, you've seen some breaks in the clouds uh, still. So a beautiful sunrise being depicted in our camera there. Here in State College, you can't even make out what's uh, Beaver Stadium back here. Got a temperature of 63 degrees. That's down from 66 just a couple minutes ago as that rain has had the effect. Dew point has also risen from 59 just a couple minutes ago as well. So you can see what the effect of that uh, storm is having here across campus. Southwest wind right now coming in at 25 miles an hour. So within the storms that are going to impact us, not just here in State College, but across much of Pennsylvania, especially the southern half of the state today, uh, you'll see some embedded strong wind gusts uh, with these storms. Temperatures across the, uh, central Pennsylvania, you can see a little bit cooler out west now. We're generally in the low 60s. We were a bit higher this morning ahead of the uh, thunderstorms. Uh, towards the east, a bit warmer. You can see here in Philadelphia, still hanging on to those mid-60s. These numbers are going to come down as this cold front does move through the area. However, we will warm up a little bit this afternoon first. Uh, temperature change over the past 24 hours. Uh, this is down from just a couple minutes ago. We were actually peaking at 10. That was just about a half hour ago, but you could see that the, the rain has had that effect. Still a lot warmer than it was yesterday morning as you're getting out and about. So uh, but aside from the umbrella, the rain jacket, no need for the sweatshirt yet. However, that's going to change behind the cold front that's going to move through today. Uh, you could see here is the radar here in State College. The storm's moving through campus right now. We've seen frequent lightning and some gusty winds with this storm. So uh, a rare, very uh, early morning storm. It made for a great light show as I was getting here this morning. As we zoom in on back, you can see this minor storm starting on the I-70 corridor. And the, uh, the main, the stronger parts of the storm, it really propagated north towards State College uh, right about now, for, for right now. So uh, honestly, the perfect setup for us here in, across campus. Uh, and as we zoom it on back, uh, really this is a very localized event, this cold front. The precipitation is mainly in Pennsylvania. You could see a, a few storms north of the Bradford area, but generally this is Pennsylvania's deal right now, and that threat will continue to shift south and east as we go throughout the day. And as we time it out for you, there's that cold front. I think it, it's a little bit underdone on this model based on what I've seen this morning. I think there's going to be a, a little more widespread as we go through the afternoon. Uh, not necessarily here in State College, but especially in areas towards the southeast as that front does advance towards the southeast. Uh, as you, we time it out for tomorrow morning, you can see, look at these temperature values. Uh, low 40s, a few spots could even drop into the upper 30s. And that'll be the theme over the next several days. We could really make a run for some cold temperatures, the coldest temperatures that we've seen in quite some time. And as we time it out for uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, a few clouds uh, appearing in the afternoon, but it should stay dry. And temperature is very seasonal for this time of year. Future rain amounts, uh, you could see within a thunderstorm, as uh, currently in State College, they're depicting a 0.63, uh, but generally a couple hundredths of an inch uh, with just some of the light rain that's associated with this front. Uh, however, you could get those higher amounts within the embedded storms. So for today here in State College, we've got a high temperature of 71 degrees, mostly cloudy. Uh, generally, the thunderstorm threat is this morning, but you could see another pop up uh, with this afternoon associated with that cold front as it pushes through. West winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour, and as you saw earlier, uh, within these storms, you could see gusts above 20 miles an hour. For tonight, uh, much cooler than it was this morning, uh, partly cloudy, temperature of 44 degrees, a northwest wind at 1 to 5 miles an hour, so uh, not a big factor in the chill, but it will feel a lot cooler than it was this morning. And as we take a look at tomorrow, we got a high temperature of 68 degrees, uh, abundant sunshine. It really does feel like autumn, and we'll keep that light uh, northwest wind at 1 to 5 miles an hour. And as we take a look at that seven-day forecast where all we could see behind the cold front is nothing but sunshine for the next four days, very seasonable conditions, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We bring back the clouds for uh, Monday, and the next shower chance I see is on Tuesday. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Kevin Appleby. Have a great day.